Do you need professional images, but you don't want to hire a photographer? Well, you can now use AI. And in this video, I'm going to show you Photo GPT. So let's go check it out right now. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is Photo GPT, and the idea is to upload a set of your photos so you can use them to generate multiple photos. So that means that you don't need a professional photographer to generate images like the ones you are seeing right here. So it's pretty cool and it's super easy to use. Now, before I show you this, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Sales Ape. So if you need to turn leads into sales, this is a great option. The idea of Sales Ape is to weed out the bad leads for you so you don't waste human resources to know if the lead is worth it or not. Sales Ape will work on autopilot and don't mistake Sales Ape for a random AI agent out there. This one is custom tailored to your business. So it will actually work the way you want it. You're going to get help from an onboarding team that's going to help you with your custom AI agent that's going to weed out the bad leads for you. Now, if you want to test out Salesape, jump into the link in the description, add your email address here, and you're going to receive an email. Go ahead and talk to it. You won't get any spam. It's just a testing that will help you to get started with Salesape. And if you like Salesape, go ahead and continue the conversation and ask for a human to book a call. And that way you're going to weed out the bad leads and get the good leads so you don't waste time. That's sales safe. And let's go ahead and continue with PhotoGPT. So in PhotoGPT, the idea, as I mentioned before, is to generate the headshots and images for you without using the photographer. Let's go ahead and jump into my dashboard so you understand how it works. Now, the idea for me is that you upload images of you so you can generate images. And to do that, you'll have to go into create model and you're going to get started with your own AI character. So you'll go through this process where you're going to add, for example, in this case, I'm a man. In this case, I'm 31 to 40 and my color of my eyes. And these are just details that will help you custom tailor your own AI agent. OK, in this case, I am Hispanic. And in this case, I'll just say test next step. And now I need to upload of myself in order for it to learn how I actually look. Now, this is giving you ideas of what you shouldn't upload and this is what you should upload. So face headshots or body headshots, but a few and in a clear way. So you can view the, the face really easily. And the idea is to upload 12 to 20 images and then start training this model. Once you do that, you'll be able to access your AI agent by selecting it right here. In this case, I'm Jorge and it's right here. I can also use other AI characters, but in this case, this is me. And I get to select the presets and in this case, glamour, passport, photo, etc. Depending the use case that you want, even in the beach, AI dating, Bohemian vibes, uh, Hobbit avatar. And there's just a bunch of options available here that you can select depending on your needs. So in this case, I'm going to say a professional theme, the resolution. This is so that's fine with me. Number of images just generate to via the prompt here. Or if I need more, just go ahead and up that option there the steps, reference image, style, strength. So if I up this, this will give me a more closer look to what I actually uploaded to give it the idea. If not, it'll go more random like you're seeing right here. Now let's go ahead and enhance the face and we're able to add a prompt right here, depending on what we need. In this case, I've already generated some images and let me show you these before I generate one. These were generated automatically. So some of them were generated automatically. With like, like this guy right here with his strength. I mean, I wish I had that body, but I don't. But it generated for me. Some of them with a suit, some of them with hair, some of them without hair. So this one is like really close to what I look normally in the photos, but with a suit. So I don't have to take a headshot photo to use an Instagram with a suit. I can use this, which is super easy. This is me with a cap and all these are fake images. OK, and some of them with some weird hairstyles, which I don't like but you get the idea there. So in this case, let me go ahead and let's select YouTube thumbnail, something that I would actually use. So let me go ahead and add the prompt right here. Okay. So there's my prompt. I need an image of me wearing a red polo shirt and pointing to the top. So let me go ahead and enhance this prompt, which is going to fine tune what I wrote right now. In this case, I'm going to do thirties and oh, here we go. Change this to thirties and forties. I don't want to look too young because it's going to look too fake. So let's go ahead and generate. This It's going to generate two images for this purpose. So let's see the results that it's going to get. Like I said, some of them I do like, some of them I don't like, especially I don't like the ones that have hair. Even if I didn't ask for hair, it shouldn't add hair if I don't have hair. But if I wanted to, that's the option there. I mean, I would have to clarify this in the prompt that I don't want it to have hair just in case uh, you want the more, the, want the prompt 
more exactly to what you look like. So let's get a few seconds for this to finish. Okay, here we go. So we got the two results here, which look really bad. They don't actually look like me. I'm going to up the reference image style. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get if I use that reference style. And I'm going to say, let's go ahead and generate and see if we get a better result. Okay, here we go. So we got some results a little bit closer, still differences. I'm going to remove the enhanced face and I'm going to say that keep hair, keep bald head. Okay, the same as reference. Let's go ahead and generate this and let's get the next results. Okay, so we got these results. This one looks much better. I like this one. It added like a blue blazer in this case. I don't want that, but it added it for me. And I can actually use this prompt again. So I can go ahead and download it, use this reference image. So generate the image based on this reference. And you can see here is now selecting this image as the reference to generate the next one. I can also view full size image. I can like it to uh, favorite it generate similar text and image, and I can go ahead and delete it. Okay, so let's go ahead and generate this one with the similar option. In this case, it used the image as reference. Here we go. We're going to get the next result. And here it is. It added hair. I wish it didn't add hair because I don't want to use fake images in this case. But that's things that you have to tweak over here on the steps, reference image, the seed, etc to make it the way you want it. There's also the option for text and image. So if you want to add text and image, go ahead and upload the image and generate the text right here, which is a nice feature. But you can see here that you're going to get mixed results. Some of them will work, some of them won't. So it's not like the perfect tool. And right now this is on a lifetime deals and you can grab it for $69 for the LTD. So that means that you don't have to pay month to month. And it starts at $69 for these credits right here. So you get 2000 credits in the $69 deal. You will get limitations like the aspect ratios. So do consider that. So if you need that, go ahead and jump into like tier two or three for that lifetime deal. And if you need high resolution image upscaling, that would be an additional cost with more limits. But if you're just going to grab this for that, I would recommend that you use another software for upscaling. So you don't pay that amount of price in case you don't need these other limits. So do consider that. So that is photo GPT. So if you need images without using the photographer, then this is a great option. Now, don't forget about Cell Safe, the sponsor of this video. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and sign up right now. And the link will be in the description. And that's a wrap.